Hi guys, my name is Nick, you're watching Youth Aquatics and today we're going to have a look through why I use Ocean Rock in my aquarium. There are many different types of Ocean Rock, um, I tend to use just two. There's this one here, which is a uh, standard run of the mill Ocean Rock, if you have a look at it, it's kind of smoothed off. It's often referred to as Texas Holy Rock due to the obvious reason that if you look at all these little holes all over the place, I think that's where the uh, where the name comes from. Um, you can build some interesting structures with it, it comes in some interesting shapes. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't use a whole lot of this type of rock. Um, I use it in some of the smaller tanks. I'm gonna get to the other rock in a second. Uh, it can look nice, especially when it's aged and it's covered in algae and you've got a nice sort of natural looking structure, it can look really, really good. I think the fish will display more interesting behaviour with this kind of rock in here, with all these nooks and crannies and little caves and things, it makes, just makes the tank more interesting, it makes it more interesting to watch the fish picking around them and navigating the way around, they get to know these rocks like the back of the hands when they've been in the tank for a while. It's, uh, it's really, really good, really pleasing to the eye. If you own your ocean rock or go to your local fish store for it, this type here is probably what you're going to come away with. It's, it's by far the most common and it's also the cheapest. This is my number one choice of ocean rock. This is um, dried reef rock or dead live rock, this is what's keeping my main tank and what that basically is, is it's been in a marine environment, it's had all the coral growing on it. What I get with this type of rock over a boulder is all these little intricate networks of caves, crevices, nooks and crannies and what these provide is extra hiding places for your fry that have been born into the tank so they have a much much higher survival rate, you'll have a lot of fry in your tank with this kind of rock. More porous than the standard base rock, which is only a good thing within a fish tank because all your beneficial bacteria is going to colonize strongly within them and help you filter a little bit, and that can never be a bad thing. And there's also the obvious benefits, which is the fact that they leach minerals into the water, which are going to harden your water, in turn, raise your pH, which is exactly what we want as we're African cichlid keepers. about it is when you look really really closely you can see all the bits of mollusks all these different hues of colors and pinks and purples in there and honestly it looks so much better than the other type um it is a little bit more expensive but it's definitely worth it especially when it's aged a while so to round things up i think the coral rock is superior to the texas holy rock in my opinion it's lighter in weight it's more porous to hold more beneficial bacteria and it's more visually appealing and I highly recommend it. That just about concludes business from me today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new and until next time, peace.